Hey everybody, welcome to my presentation here today on Stingrays. It's coming for you. So let's start off with some background information on Stingrays. Now a Stingray is a fish that's part of the group called chondric thighs, which are basically animals with a cartilage skeleton. So this includes uh, animals like rays and sharks. And uh, what's unique about the Stingray and all of these other types of chondric thighs is that they have five to seven pair of gills. And also all of the features that you've come to expect from fish, like a vertebra and also that they're limbless. Continuing on with our background information, uh, stingrays are part of a subclass of chondric thighs called uh, elas elasmobronchi. Uh, this is basically just a fancy name that groups together rays, skates, and sharks. So unique to this group is the fact that their notochord, their support supporting rod in uh, the development of st a stingray, turns into cartilage. And also because that they don't have true bone, and therefore no bone marrow, how stingrays produce red blood cells is from their spleen and also their Leydig gland, which is right over here, if you can see it. Now some basic anatomy of a stingray, it's a, it has a flat body and uh, its pectoral fins are attached to their heads. Now this flat body allows it to burrow itself when hunting. And also the stingray's color of skin blends in really well with the seafloor for camouflage. If you can see here in this picture, uh, it's nestled in the sand over here. You can also see its eyes are popping out of their heads. And uh, if you can't guess already, the stingray's eyes and its mouth aren't really well coordinated. So instead, when it's burrowed in the sand, like in a position like this, it uses its smell and its electroreceptors instead of its eyes to detect prey instead. Now what are electroreceptors? If we look in the picture over here, this bundle of red dots, they're basically, um, I guess, a sensory system of a fish that allows the animal to sense other electric signals in uh, water, which is very conductive. And uh, electroreceptors are exclusive to aquatic animals. So uh, how do stingrays move? Now in bony fishes, uh, which are not stingrays, uh, swim bladders, like this one found in a carp over here, they exchange gases to control the fish's buoyancy. Cartilage fishes, which include the sharks and the stingrays, they don't have these. Instead, they have these large oil-filled livers that do the same job instead. They control the buoyancy. Now over here, this is actually a picture of a skate liver, but that's closely related enough. And uh, the really large, these livers are filled with oil, which can also be used as a food source in times of need. Aha, now the stingray is not something that you like to mess with in the water. It has a long, flexible tail with venomous barbed stingers, if you can see that over here, uh, which can reach lengths of up to 35 centimeters long. So uh, that's a huge ruler whipping at you. And also on the tail are these stingers with, uh, that are barbed and they also are tipped with venom. And here's actually one barb of a stingray. Uh, and that's pretty, it's pretty long. I don't want that stabbing into anyone. 